Hey guys, this is Austin. Welcome to your first Roblox Lua GUI scripting tutorial. I'm going to show you how to correctly size your GUI elements. Uh, so when I say correctly size, that doesn't necessarily mean there's one correct way to do it, even though that's exactly what it sounds like I'm saying, but rather there's a most efficient way to do this. I'm going to make a screen GUI and a frame here. So we scroll down in its properties, we have this property called size. Inside are a couple numbers in curly braces, 0, 100, comma, 0, 100. We're going to press this arrow thingy to open it up. <clears throat> and we have x and we have y. Uh, what this means is the first number, the first set of numbers right here is the x value for your uh, GUI size and this is the y value x goes across horizontally y goes across vertically so when you're resizing the x it'll resize this way the y will resize up and down uh, you're probably familiar with the concept of axes so I don't need to elaborate on that any further uh, numbers it has a couple numbers in there one is the 100 the offset and what the offset is it's pretty much the size of your GUI element in pixels which as far as we're concerned it doesn't take into consideration the size of your player's screen and I'll explain here in a minute why that is important to game development if you guys don't know already the second number is the scale um, no, that doesn't have an explanation when I mouse over it, but that's okay. So the scale, it does take into consideration the size of your player's screen. So let's say we had this frame, I'm going to resize it here, that was a size of 500, 300. I'm going to put this in the middle of the screen with offset. Okay, close enough. Um, let's say to a person on a desktop in-game, it would probably be somewhere in the middle of your screen, which is where we might want it. But say someone visits your game on their phone, or on their tablet, or maybe even on a smaller sized screen, or laptop. That uh, GUI element could would probably be somewhere in the bottom right corner of their screen instead of in the middle where it's supposed to be because they have a different screen resolution than you and because you're using offset which doesn't take into consideration the size of your player's screen it's just raw pixels but let's say we tried to size our GUI using scale um, positional Leave it there. Size 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So uh, if we sized our GUI element with 0 0.1 in offset, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, it'd obviously be a lot smaller than it just was. In fact, uh, you can't even have 0 0.1 in offset, it would just round to 0, as you see here gonna undo that control Z so it's back to point one in scale this means that it's one percent uh, it takes up one percent of the space of your screen instead of point one or zero pixels so it would be proportionally smaller on a smaller screen if it was that small and it would just look all weird uh, doggy mad dog um, <laughs> uh, offset and scale also goes for your position, but I might I might go into that in this video. I don't know, maybe another video. Uh, so back to size. Like I said, uh, scale it takes up a percentage of your player's screen, which you know is optimally best for different size screens. If you're trying to make a game like. Uh, speed run and you have some GUI elements a game like that could probably be
played on a tablet too. You're going to want to get the best size GUIs you can across all devices so that it's compatible with all devices and easy to click on or tap or touch for everybody so that nobody has any problems with your game and it's just an easier overall experience for everyone. So, uh, another thing I like to do when I'm sizing GUIs is to close out and double click this ribbon at the top is to just close out everything and move this stuff to the middle of your screen to where it's not resizing your studio window and uh, you can kinda see that you know this size screen fits it fits more of like if you were in game somewhere you could this looks like as close as it could be to when you're in game that was a very long drawn out sentence this uh, GUI element as opposed to how my screen was boxed up with all those windows it looks more accurate too as if you were in game so I think that gives you uh, the best sense of where your GUI would actually be in game on your screen size at least so I like to do this when I size and position GUIs uh, you can go up to test and you have this uh, device or screen resolution an emulator up here and what an emulator is uh, you can think of that as a simulator you can mouse over this it says emulate Roblox as if it were another device so uh, let's say we want to test this game on an iPad 2 this white space forget it this uh, little window here is what your game would look like on an iPad 2 iPad mini, nothing happens. Wait, how do I stop this? Okay, I don't know what I did there. Okay, oopsies, I messed up. I'm just gonna open up a new window there. Yeah. Um. <laughs> So, on a Surface GUI, I'll go over that now. Uh, on a Surface GUI, it doesn't really matter if you have a frame inside it, and where's the frame at? If you have a frame inside it, it doesn't really matter if you use scale or offset, but I would probably use offset just for uh, consistency. That's what I'm used to. Because it's not going to change based on their screen size. Since it's not actually on their screen and it's an element in the 3D world. If that makes sense. So yeah, we can just resize it how we want. We can even make it off the brick. Um, so I hope this enlightened you guys on how to optimize the size of your GUIs in game. Um, yeah, you'll have to really use these concepts if you want to make a game that's compatible with any mobile device or you think people might play on a laptop or something or any different screen size than yours, which they probably will. So yeah, that's best practice guys, hashtag best practice. I'll see you guys later. Post in the comments if you have any questions.